Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Derpina Mode, the show where we don't really know how to do- well, one time we didn't really know how to do makeup and then we started doing makeup and we learned so then our channel name was irrelevant. Today I'm going to be doing just a get ready with me slash wash me put stuff on my face video. I've been getting some comments lately in videos on my main channel about what are you, what are you doing? I love your makeup. Can you do a tutorial? What I want to say is that lately, if I am wearing makeup, it's one of these two. So this is the Dr. Jart Premium BB Beauty Balm. It's baby cream, pretty much. I like this because it has SPF 40. Even though I'm living in England, I don't care. I don't, I don't want sun on my face. Want to be pale? Pale ass, pale, middle class, straight white male. Okay, Clinique CC Cream is the other one. I feel like I have to use powder, more powder than I would like on top of this to kind of Set it, but it still looks really nice. The BB cream is just one shade, and this Clinique CC cream is also SPF 30, which is nice, but is in the shade very light. So the step one of getting ready with me is put your hair up with the scrunchie and make it look as unflattering as possible. So with this BB cream, I usually just apply it with my hands. I'm already pretty shiny because I'm just wearing moisturizer at the moment, and I been out already today. I would just like to say that I never used to wear foundation. I mean, I, this isn't exactly foundation, but to me it's basically, it's like I'm putting stuff on my face that's not moisturizer. This is a new thing. This is something I've only been doing in like the past mm, three, four months. It's adding a little bit here to where I have some dark circles, kind of using it as a concealer too, I guess. I'm just going to the post office and the cafe. I don't feel like I really need to impress anyone but me, so I look, look nice for me. <laughs> just gonna buff it in with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, I think that's what this one is. Yep, buffing it. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on my nose. I know I did in that video. Uh, sure. And, okay, why not? Me. I'm gonna set it with powder, which is on the floor over here, with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is excellent packaging, as you can see, the lettering is completely rubbed off. Yep, just uh, using the Real Techniques powder brush, yup. Dusting that over the parts where I'm shiny, which is everywhere. And if you think there's a technique to this, there isn't. I'm just patting and schmushing and moving, so. So can you! Now I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer. A little bit of bronzer. I like to contour because I think it's fun. Don't know if it does anything. Sometimes I think it just looks like I'm putting orange stripes on my face, which I am because I only have one bronzer and I think it's a little too orange for me. It's the Lancome Star Bronzer in Solaire. Burp. I just kind of like look to see where the natural, <laughs> natural shadow of where a hole in my face should be and I kind of draw that in concentrating I just I get it I had my makeup done at Sephora one time and she was like take it into the hairline cuz makes it look more natural or something also you know my roots are kind of blonde so put that orange back in there let's just dye that hair with bronzer right Ooh. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna bring a little bit on the tops of my cheeks here okay can't, this looks like I'm doing nothing to my face, but I, n I never thought I would see the day when I would do my eyebrows and the day has come. For now I've been using a color that's in this Lancome palette, Taupe Craze palette from Lancome, and I just use the middle color. We'll call that a day. I'm using this eyeshadow primer from Hema. So I'm gonna use uh, the Balm Shady Lady in Shameless Shauna. It's just like a shimmery browny gold bronzy color. So using an elf brush, the eyeshadow C brush to get some of this. Just taking it over, kind of stopping at the crease. And I'm gonna blend it in with a MAC 286 brush. I feel like it just got, it just fanned out really quickly. I mean, it's not too fanned out, but I don't know. I just think it's, it's okay. You could probably get a cheaper one that does just as good. Cover girl 
eyeshadow in champagne doing kind of the inner corner and blending that into whatever eyeshadow I just put on and I also like to put it I'll show you but like all the way under my eye that technique is inspired by Jenny. She's a fashion YouTuber who I love and she did some makeup tutorials and her makeup always looks, she's just beautiful. And then I'm also gonna put a little bit of this to kind of highlight that. So I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. Extra oomph underneath the eye. I'm gonna use the Rimmel, yeah, Rimmel Scandalize Nude Eye liner pencil thing. This is not really a necessary step, but I feel like it. I probably did cat eyes with this in the videos, I'm betting. L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim. It's running out a little bit, so it's not as awesome as it was at the beginning. Every part of the day attempting to put on eyeliner. I'm just gonna throw on some mascara. I'll use the Clinique High Impact Mascara. This is, this is the look pretty much that I've been wearing around the hood. Pretty similar to what I did in that last Mary and Honey video. So there you go. Get a little bit closer. Y'all set? You good? Okay. <laughs> yep, That's that's been a little get ready with me video. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of longer winded style of Derpina mode. And how about some of you guys tweet me your everyday makeup look, or even better if you try to recreate this one. Derpina mode, deactivate, what up? This is gonna, I was gonna do like a burr, but I couldn't get the, okay, we're deactivating now.